Joining me now exclusively, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, ranking member on the Senate Budget Committee. Senator, good to see you this afternoon. I, I'd like to actually start by playing this soundbite for you from Tom Homan, uh, who worked on the border, former acting ICE director, and he raises a question that I think is, is a very important one to raise. Listen to this. The northern border uh, we have with Canada is still closed because of COVID. And the southern border is wide open. And you're right. I mean, ICE has already had 7,500 positive COVID cases run through their system. And what really scares me is in nearly 300,000 gotaways this year. Right. Senator, um, I, I know this is something that has you fired up as well. And yeah. tell us what's in this letter that you're sending to uh, the head of Homeland Security today. So what I'm asking the, the Homeland Security Secretary to do is to tell me and the American people of the million people you've apprehended, how many of them have been released into the United States? How many of them do you test? What's the positive rate? What's the system in place to test people before they're released into the United States? Uh, uh, Congressman Cuellar said there's been a big spike in his district, he's a Democrat, that the Border Patrol agents and custom agents have experienced a uh, uh, uptick in positives. So what I want the secretary to tell me and you and everybody else is of the million you've apprehended, how many do you think you missed? And what's the positive rate of these million? How many are tested? And of that million, how many have you released in the United States? And before you release them, were they tested? I mean, th this policy makes absolutely no sense to anyone <laughs> right. who travels, right? So if right. you live in Europe, you can't come to the United States because of what's going on with COVID right now and the Delta variant. If you live in Canada, you can't come into the country. But if you live at the southern border, right. for some reason, it's just, you know, it's open. You're allowed to pour across the border. You might get tested. You might not get tested. I mean, how does the White yeah. House... So how do they how do they justify this? It makes absolutely no sense in keeping with any of their other policies right now. Well, it's an exception that, that doesn't have any common sense behind it. it. The European Union allows me to travel to Europe. I'll be going there in August to visit some of our allies. I've got American business in, uh, 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 BMWs made in South Carolina, Michelin tires, produces tires in South Carolina. An employee of Michelin or an employee of BMW who has family in Germany or, or France can't go back to see their family because of the laws that the Biden administration has imposed. We have travel bans to some of our best ally, allies with a very robust health care system. We have absolutely nothing in place regarding illegal immigrants coming from the most severe hot spots in the world with no health care. It doesn't make any sense. And what I'm trying to do is ask the Biden administration to have an accounting for how they deal with the million coming across, how many are tested, how many are released in the United States. They're basically telling me to go to hell. I've written to Dr. Fauci and I've asked him, what's your view of taking Title 42 COVID policy away from DHS, uh, the Border Patrol? He says, that's not my area. Dr. Fauci, you're the medical advisor to the president about COVID. The Border Patrol agents and their families are American heroes. I've been to the border several times. It's complete chaos. I don't know how they go to work every day. They're American heroes. And I can tell you this, the Biden administration doesn't have their back. It doesn't seem to matter that the border communities are exposed to illegal immigrants. What matters is the Biden administration is trying to restrict us as Americans and just completely deaf, dumb and blind to the problem created by COVID through illegal immigration. All right. Well, Senator, let us know um, if uh, if they give you any attention on this latest letter to uh, Alejandro Mayorkas uh, at DHS, because it's a really it's an easy question. It makes a perfect sense to ask this question. And we know that some people are tested, some people aren't tested. And as Tom Homan said, you've got 300,000 that just got away. So who knows what their situation well, is? I'll um, just put, a, every, put yeah, a fine point on it. If they don't answer my letter, that's an affront to me as a senator, it's an affront to the border communities, it's an affront to the Border Patrol agents and their families who are on the front line of this COVID mess. And I'm not going to take a non-response as a response. We're about to ratchet up the pressure on the Biden administration to account for this stupid policy at the border. Senator Lindsey Graham, South Carolina, sir, always good to see you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.